Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu where we are a new character and we are in the Riverside Institute. I found the book in the bookseller safe. There was something wrong with it. It smelled of death and putrefaction. I had a bad feeling. I read it to understand why I had such feelings. What happened after that? Where am I? Ah, we cannot go to Pierce, obviously, places, the nameless bookstore. I've never seen such, such a collection of works on magic and occultism. Al Algernon Drake, the owner, prides himself on being a luminary in the study of esoteric phen phenomena. The library was ransacked during an attempted burglary. I, it holds numerous rare or forbidden works, its back room houses a safe protected by an ancient symbol. And we, the hound we already had, are, as I remember, if I remember it correctly, at all. Knowledge, think we don't need to go through them books again, actually. And then, let's see, we need to get into Fuller's office, but... I'm going to take a look around. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. If it's chronic, then that never is good, right? This place draws you in and never lets you go. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. Hmm. It's so unfair. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that. Oh no, isn't this the... I mean, we see it, the stool where they're put the water in? I hope it's really for a medical purpose and not some weird ass experiment. Elizabeth, you all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. <sighs> Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Anyway, I've learned my lesson. I'll hold my tongue next time. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Yep, courage. Always not bad. I am leaving that door open to help me out to know where I've already been. Okay, it's the locker room. There's a book, that's always nice. Like a dictionary, this work references in alphabetical order all the medical science, sciences, I'm sorry, known and pra pra practiced in the modern world. For each of the entries, the major works and the names of the reference authority are listed. Wait, no, yeah, okay, good. I thought I did not close uh, open the door. I was confused. The usual thing happens all the time. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Okay, yeah, 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 of course. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured. I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Nonetheless. 
distract Donovan, Donovan, cut off water. Okay, yeah, we luckily have seen the bloody pipe, right? In the other room. Although I'm uncertain if I should do it. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make Okay, it there up. it goes. What a pest. Yeah, okay, that's that door. From here we came. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. In the bathroom. She says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. The very this very interesting book aimed at a white public demonstrates how non-recognized science have influenced modern medicine. Magnetism, grandmother's secrets, Chinese. <laughs> Acupuncture, hypnos hypnosis, I'm sorry, herbal medicine, alchemy, and many others have con contributed to a certain extent to the enrichment of medicine at the beginning of <laughs> the century. And the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare. Watch out for the water, doctor. That silly goose. Yep, will do. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. Yikes! I think this room smells. Amazing. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Although I guess um it's not you know the personnel the person I'm so sorry the personnel food is not con with drugs, right? Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know? And we can't even see her medical file. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words, so we're not budging. Very well. At least I'll know where to find you. Okay, if I don't forget, and if I find anything... Doctor, please! Uh, my chest! Uh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah? Come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Okay, I hope we did good. Dr. Colden? Wait. That was the lady from the pharmacy, right? Her tr twin is still, yeah. Okay. That's sometimes kinda. And I don't mean that in a complaining way. Sometimes characters look very, very similar because they oftentimes use the same hey, character, Fever. right? What's he doing here? Dr. Colden? Wait, no, okay. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, oh, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? Hmm? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing, nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. 
I'll just sleep a bit more. Fair enough. Ah, so there's Harding. She's still sleeping. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. So wait, um, otherwise I might... Why did nobody tell me about her admission? The file describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institute, as well as the treatments administered to her. Fuller added a handwritten note. He recommends to take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest she needs. Mrs. Sanders? She looks like a puppet, to be honest. Dr. Colden? So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Okay, good. So that is done, right? So the w w check one thing, one good thing done for today. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. I am got to be honest. I don't know what that meant. Opens the door to the boiler room. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. And we will try to unravel the mystery. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. His binds left bloody wounds. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? You did good work. The tranquilizer has kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, Doctor. And as to his weight loss? I'll prescribe an antifungal treatment for his dysgusia. In the meantime, feed him intravenously. It'll be done. Hmm, and yet I thought we might have more options there available for the, not diagnosis, but for the help to describe. Oh my goodness, I mean, yeah, it's a hospital, right? It's big. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... Yeah, but... I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Because Almost maybe... no patients here. No, I don't think so. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Uh, you're a bad liar. You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. 
It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh, there's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. All right. Yes, we are not in the main quest, but where did my fiance thing. go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. But you guys, that is actually already gonna bring us right now to the end of today's episode. And you know it. We are gonna talk to this nurse rece reception lady in the next episode tomorrow for now you know it i really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully we see us here tomorrow until then have a wonderful full day stay frosty in case you wonder i've wondered why it's dark there and bright there but it has the window thingies in front of it. So, um, goodbye until tomorrow.